Okay, so I'm back with another video here. This is part three of three of my eGPU setup. I finally got my Express Card um, version of the eGPU adapter. So I have it right here connected to my notebook. It doesn't really securely fit in there. And then I got my um, video card here connected to a new adapter from B+, um, which is kind of like the competitor to the EXP GDC that I had from last week. Um, I got the same, if you can see this, got the same power supply in the back right here. I have it, the wire connected to the graphics card and then another wire here connected to the, um, what do you call this, the adapter. So hopefully this version works well with my um, HP 8770W. All right, here we go, Find it for the first time. All right, I'm such a noob. I totally forgot this ATX power cable. That would definitely help to help it power up. So I didn't see any results. So I'm going to give it another shot now. Okay, here we go. Whew. Woo! Excellent. Something to pay attention to. So the computer is not booting up. Apparently there's some sort of conflict. He doesn't like what's going on here. He beeped at me a couple times, so I think I have to use the delay on the switch. Be right back. Those are the beeps I was referring to. So the delay only works when I boot up the computer for the first time. So I don't, totally shut it down and then try it again. So I think I may be successful this time. It's still going. And I'm in Windows. <gasps> Let's see if I can do it again. And then it detects new hardware. <gasps> it's working. It's working. Oh no. There we go. There it is. Found it. I'm gonna actually stop this. I'm going to install the AMD drivers and go from there. Alright, so we found some success. I got the AMD driver installed. You can see that I have two 6900 series cards, which means I have, you know, um, you know 6970s on a dual GPU card. Uh, if you go into device manager, you see I have it here, but I have these exclamation points. Now I was kind of curious about this. Before I even get into that, I will go into GPU Z. And I will show you what that is. If you look at it, you can see that the 6900s have these weird numbers. It don't make any sense. And you look at the Quattro card, of course everything's fine. So if you go into the properties here in Device Manager, you can see that it says I don't have enough resources. I have to disable one. So a lot of people said I would run into this problem according to the forms. So I need to disable this, and then I would have to restart. And I should see better results. So right now, I believe it's running off of the AMD card. Not too sure yet. I might have to restart first. We'll see. I will come back. To recap, I had a resource issue with the Radeon 6990. And I thought that by disabling the internal video card, I would be able to get the resources I need. But unfortunately, Windows doesn't work like that. Technically, anyone can run into this Code 12 resource error. Um, not every computer has the same amount of PCI Express lanes. Um, some have more, some have less. Usually, the more expensive enthusiast systems have more than enough. Well, as the mainstream systems usually have, like, 
think it's like 24 or 32 and then you know cheaper systems have 24 or less um, usually laptops like this elite book have pre-configured um, resources so using something like this external GPU is not intended to work and it's not surprising that it doesn't work okay so now I'm trying again with this external PCI Express adapter with the GTX 580 which is a single GPU from NVIDIA I think this may work I hope it works because then I'm done trying this experiment so I got my power supply connected there video card connected here got my display adapter connected there and I'm going to um, fire it up oh yeah I've got to point out that I got my um, express card connected there so let me turn this on hold on it's on a delay right now put the delay switch on so in any second now we'll see if it works and there it goes it found something it's downloading the drivers now okay says I need to restart let's do it looks like it's working because that just came up and that is connected to the external video card I think we are successful manager oh man no resource conflicts and then we check there it is yay yay everything fits so mission accomplished I immediately ran a benchmark to test the GTX 580 with 3D Mark 11 and I had GPU Z running just to make sure the clocks went up and you can see there quickly that it did so it is working the following are the results from that test the 3D Mark program incorrectly listed GPU 1 which is the internal graphics card the Quadro K5000M and then just for reference I have the results of that internal GPU just so you can see how well the two did compared to each other.